Good morning. I'm Mr. Musa from Mombasa Vision Training Institute. Today I'll be teaching the lecturers how to interact with the online platform. First, you need to have your web browser, for example, Google Chrome, Firefox, or any other web browser that you may be having in your gadget. You should key in the website. You should have the website. The institution website is www.mati.ac.ke for you to access the portal. Now I'll go direct to the browser. I'll open the browser. I will key in www.mati.ac.ke. It will direct me to Mati web page or the website. Now this is the Mombasa Vision Training Institute website. You click on the e-learning. It will give you the e-learning portal. Welcome, please sign in. As a lecturer, you need to select the lecturer account, the name. I will use one of the lecturer's name, Mr. Wanjala. Then I will put the password and for the lecturers the password is your ID number but you'll have to update it later after you have entered the system. You log in, now you go to the lecturers dashboard. For instance here you have got the dashboard, the e-menu, the lecturers menu. the other side we have got the logout the name of the lecturers the notification icon or notification bar we have got the my lesson schedule so as a lecturer you will go to the notification you will see some of the messages they may be personal messages or announcement from the management you can view even the general announcement archives. These are information from the management that is stored for future use. You can go to the archives and you can see all the announcements. Then you'll see your timetable. This is my lesson schedule. These are the timetable for the lecturer. For instance, Mr. Festus Joseph Wanjala uh, this is term, month, unit, start date. So you should make sure that you know your timetable very well, the start date, the end date, the unit, and the time. This will assist you in uploading the material for the student to use. Then let's go back to the dashboard. We have the lecturer's menu. First, first you go to the select unit. We want to upload the material that the lecturer will be using. To upload material for a class, the lecturer selects a unit as assigned by the admin, then clicks the material link for the specific unit. The lecturer will select the unit. You see you have got the course, unit description, we have got the e-learn, material and assignments. So the lecturer will go to material to upload material for the class. He will select material, this link. Then you will go to topic. The unit already is there by default. You will go to unit. The unit is there by default. Now you will go to topic. For example, you can pick introduction. Uh, the lecturer will, will have to set the premier date and time. 
the premier date means that this is the date that the class is scheduled to start for instance if mr festus is having a class this week on friday you will go to the july friday third then he will make sure no is this really third july here yeah, friday it will be third now time you must pick the time that is in your timetable so when you are filling this make sure that you have the right information then you'll have to upload documents or file the lecturers enters a topic selects premier date and time then there are five types of material a lecturer can upload we have got here the documents you are required to upload either a pdf file or a htm or html file so you must know how to convert your word document to html i'll be showing you in my later video how to convert that then you have got also the image the image the system will pick any format you can decide for example we take any image that is jpeg it will appear there if you want to add another another document you can also pick the pdf or the html document then we have the video the the video format you are supposed to make sure your format is mp4 for it to accept in our system even the audio the format should be mp3 then we have got the youtube we have you can paste here any youtube link which will direct the students to the youtube in case you have a link you want them to study anything direct from the youtube you can put the link there if you have an audio file you can upload the audio file but it should be mp3 say like my audio file it is converted to mp3 audio file if you pick another file it won't another format it won't accept and for the video if you have a video file it should be mp4 now then here we have the video conferencing link here you can use any video conferencing application for instance you can use zoom or any other application that you may you are familiar with for conferencing you will put the link there then you can select if you want to sms select yes if you want to send reminder sms to student you will click yes then you will submit data if you press the submit data button it will tell you that your data has been successfully captured i think that is okay now you will have created the material for this date that you have inserted it here you can go back use this arrow to go to back then you can also upload assignment when you want to upload assignment you will click the assignment you will click the assignment then you have got two types of assignment you have got the uploading assignment upload file and online file the file upload this one it is whereby the lecturer uploads an assignment file then student will download and fill the answers then upload the file back 
for example like Festus he will insert here the date the month no it was on 3rd July 2020 you make sure the dates they are the same which appears in the timetable now you go to choose file you can either choose a PDF an image or a HTML file but don't use word document file it won't accept for example you can pick this assignment 2 I upload it there then you submit data the student will download and fill and answers then upload the file back then the next one you have got the online assignment the online assignment is whereby the lecturer prepares this one the lecturers prepares a set of questions on the platform then the student attempts the assignment online they are marked online and the, re the result are submitted online for example Mr. Festus can insert here questions maybe define mass communication you just key in the question in this box the system will automatically format and give you a good and clear format you don't put like headings numbers you just type in the question define mass communication then when you submit you see the way it is appearing here the system formats the question number it gives you the question you see the way it is presentable this is how you work on your online assignment number two you can define media define media I'm just doing this but the teacher will make his own you submit you are supposed as a lecturer to make your own notes or your own questions yeah when you have done any mistake you can go back and click remove it will remove my network but I think yeah it is still there when you click remove that question will be removed just give it some time it will remove it nice again you can remove this question if you don't want is taking some time okay it has removed then we can go back to our e-learning center you can go to select unit then the lecturer clicks the icon next to the uploaded material to get into class the lecturer select elan for the specific unit if mr wanzala is having media law and ethics he will have to select this unit he goes to e-learning to get into the class you click the elan make sure you click this elan to get you into the class we are doing it practically just give it some time now here you are not yet give it some time but this is the platform where the student will be using to interact with the teacher 
to chat with the teacher as the class goes by. Yeah, give it some time. It will pick. Okay, that's good. Now here the lecturers meet with all students who have joined in the class. Student goes through the material uploaded and chat with the lecturer and fellow student in the same platform. It is done here. Now this is the real class. But as a lecturer, when you go to this page, you, you will see we have got the material not ready, the YouTube channel, the vid, the audio, then the notes and then we have got the conferencing with the video conferencing now you'll have to click you'll have to click to any of the icon that has got the topic the material and you'll see how it will be working for example mr wanjala if mr wanjala is having the introduction understanding law he will have to press this one to go into the class if you don't click this one it means that you are on the system but you are not re being recognized by the system as the lecturer taking the class so make sure that you click here you will see how it will interact the notes you can view the notes very well arranged then we have another platform on the right side the chatting section you can see here we have got the chatting section now here the lecturer will meet students who have joined in the class then the student will go through the material which is uploaded and they can also chat with other students now these are the materials you can see media law and ethics a student can read while chatting with the lecturer and with other students now this is the real class so mr festus can chat with the student you'll be seeing here mr the green festus wanjala is online now if the students are also online they will display the official names with the status now this is the chatting section the student will be reading the notes while chatting with the teacher now the interface might change depending on the gadget like for example i'm using the laptop that is how it appears but when you are using the phone it may change the interface i think i'm okay it is understandable now you can go back to lecture menu you can view assignments you can view assignments the lecturer will go to the lecture menu view assignment you can go to the course unit description then we have got the attachment assignment and online assignment with attachment assignment this one this is the assignment done offline then uploaded by student the student will download the assignment then they will do it offline then upload the assignment The lecturer downloads the assignment, marks off the system, record marks off the system. Once done, the lecturer click mark complete. If the student has attached here the assignment, the lecturer will download the assignment, marks off the system, record marks off the system. Once done, the lecturer clicks marks complete but at the moment you don't have the assignment now again online this is the assignment online done by student 
the lecturer will select view answers then marks the assignment and submit result see when the lecturer clicks here the lecturer select view answers then marks the assignment and submit the result and because there is no assignment that is why it is blank now we can go to another module you can go to update profile the lecturer will put his telephone number then new password then you can as a lecturer you can also upload your photo but you should use the recommended width on 50 pixel by height on 70 pixel and submit data i think that is easily understandable then we go to another module we go to the let's go to the refresh student account first when you click that refresh student account you find that there are some students who for one reason or the other fails to, to log out after the session the system is set not to allow a student to log in twice on different networks without first logging out from the other in such a case the student can communicate with his lecturer to refresh the account as the lecturer you have been given that authority in case a student has, is having some problem you can just key in admission number you view the student then you can refresh the account to allow the student to log in again can refresh the account and it will tell you let's give it some time so you see the message yourself ah, but the message is just simple the student can log in again successful after refreshing the account so as a lecturer you have got that mandate and the authority I think my internet is a bit slow but just give it some time it will work don't worry in case <coughs> you have any problem please don't hesitate to call us the ICT department or to call the Mombasa Aviation Training Institute management to give you a helping hand we are here for you thank you but before I complete let's wait for the yeah I was waiting for this account refreshed the student can log in now the student will be able to log in and in case a student is having problems with logging in you can contact the administrator or the management for further help thank you